Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ, and we're back to talk about PDQ Connect. Uh, keeping everything secure and up to date is always important. Uh, you have your queue mode updates, which you like to follow, but sometimes there's out of band KBs or there's specific KBs you want to make sure they're installed. And we're going to show you how you can do that with Connect uh, without having to worry too much about it. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to our packages, and there are some pre built ones. I'm going to pull it there uh, that we have in there. Uh, you have install all applicable updates. That's basically you're going to send to your system, hey, use, use PS Windows Update, which is a PowerShell module, find everything is missing, and install it all. Next one down is it's only going to be critical or security. You got drivers and you got feature updates, which that one is going to be a rather large one, so be careful with that one. Feature updates, unless it's kind of the enhancement pack or enablement pack, rather large. That's going to take uh, quite a long time. But those are kind of the defaults for not just for cumulative, which we also have in there for you by default, but for any sort of KB you think you might be missing. That's great. That's easy to track. You could just come in here. You could run, hey, you run all those updates and be done with it. But what if there's a single KB that you just want to make sure, uh, we'll say your Windows 10 systems have, almost like I've done some prep work on that one. So I'm going to come down to this pre built collection that has our Windows 10 systems. We have three in there, you can see. Uh, by default, if I go to the filters, you can see we have... The release that it contains that it is Windows 10. We're going to add another filter. We're going to look at the Windows Update title and see if I can remember off the top of my head on this one. I'm going to say 5029244. We'll see if that's right. Nailed it. Oh, I should do this for a living. All right, you can see, so Katara already has that KB, but our other Windows 10 do not. Now, for those, uh, those of you at home, they're like, hey, that's a cumulative update. I'm aware, but while we're shooting this video, is Patch Tuesday, and that's what I had went on hand, so that's what I'm showcasing. But with that filter, we have an ability we can see which ones are have the uh, critical updates, which ones don't, so we're going to flip this over, and instead we're going to switch it over to, instead of contains, to does not contains, and apply it so we can see the two systems that are not secure with this one yet. So the next question is, is how do we get a single KB to update? Uh, there is a package with PDQ Deploy. It has some PowerShell that I downloaded just to steal the PowerShell. We'll go take a look at that package in just a bit. And one second, I need to save that over, uh, update the group. So that's, that one's up to date. <clears throat> so I went through and I took the PowerShell from that existing package from the library, and we'll go in and take a look at that one right now. And if you look at the PowerShell here, as you can see, we have all the, the comments. This is because from that one, and basically, it's going in there and checks the system. That's a sign. If you have a signed cert, it's good to have. It basically says, hey, we're looking for a specific KB. If it doesn't have it, install it. And then down here in the parameters, you can see I put the 5029244. So I'm looking for that specific one to update. Uh, for that PowerShell, if you'd like, if you don't want to go through deploy, you still like to have that one, I can capture that one and put it in uh, a GitHub, which will have a link below this, this video. So you can have the PowerShell you need to get a single KB. This one's more of a one-off. I generally say an update everything is not a bad call. All right, so now that we have both our devices, we're tracking the ones that need it. We have the package. We know that that's working. We didn't change anything, so we're not going to save that one. I will say with Windows updates, there's a couple things on this one. Reboot, not always necessary, but more often than not. So I, would, I put that one in there because I feel like I need it. And the other one... The default timeout is five minutes, and I'm doing what is basically a cumulative update right here. Cumulative update is going to take more than five minutes, so it's going to error say, hey, it took too long. So I upped to 30 minutes just to be safe. When I ran the example on Katara, it took about six and a half minutes, but still, at the default, it would have failed, so it's just something to keep an eye on. So now that we have everything all set up, we're going to go back to our collection that has the ones we're looking for. Select those, and we are going to deploy, and... Windows Update, single KB, and that's it. We're going to send that off one right there. It's going to take, like the other ones took about six minutes, we can assume about the same, where it's individual machine that's querying and pulling it down. If there are different network speeds, there might be some variation, but it's going to be the same. The reason I did it first with a Katara is because human is going to take a long time. This is just more to showcase. It works great, gets you everything you need. So that's pretty much everything you need to know for PS Windows Updates. I guess the main takeaways, remember, we have all of the defaults that you're looking for, so you don't need to do anything customized. You can just go grab all the security if that one you want, or all KBs, and download that one. Or if you want to do a KB, 
You just have to make it in a custom package, make a PowerShell step and copy that script in. It's in deploy if you want to grab it from there. If not, there'll be a link below that you can go and you can copy that script over out of GitHub. That's everything you need. You should be secure now. Congrats on being safe. Uh, for PDQ, I'm Jordan. Thank you.